Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mohammed Abu Zaid, uh, and today we are going to discuss uh, why should vaccination be compulsory. Because we all want the best for our children and for the next generation, and because we don't want them to suffer from what we have already suffered from. That's why I believe vaccination should be compulsory. While discussing this topic, we have to keep in mind that vaccine preventable diseases, such as measles and chickenpox, are still out there and haven't been completely eradicated. Which means that there are high risk of outbreaks at any given time. At the end. And since we live in an interconnected world, carriers of such diseases can travel anywhere. Hence, vaccination is crucial to prevent the spread of such disease. It's also very important from the economical point of view as it prevents diseases that causes disability and uh, su sudden death. Countries whose income depends mainly on manpower would be greatly affected. Also, it's, uh, it saves a lot of money spent on treatment of such diseases. The CDC estimates that children vaccinated between the year 1994 and 2014 have yielded net savings of $1.83 trillion. But what about people who can't take certain vaccines as immunocompromised or pregnant women? How could we protect them? Here comes the concept of herd immunity or community acquired immunity. Herd immunity is a form of indirect protection from infectious diseases achieved when 80 to 90 percent of population uh, has become immune to an infection, thereby providing a measure of protection to those who are not immune by disrupting the, the chain of transmission of the disease. If vaccination were not compulsory, fewer people would get their children vaccinated. They would forget or, or put it off. Others wouldn't be able to afford it, dropping the levels, uh, levels of immunity below what's needed for herd immunity. Thank you. Uh, just can't afford it, or make, all vaccines are under health insurance. Every vaccine, no, no serious vaccines that no any no serious vaccine is not under health insurance. So no one can afford vaccines. That's what I <coughs> think. Second thing is that you cannot quote the CDC. I've just proved to you that the CDC is a very corrupted agency. You do not quote it. Uh, okay, uh, I think that. Uh, the, the harm uh, the CDC or any other pharmaceutical company will get from a uh, vaccine that causes ha uh, serious uh, adverse effects would be greater, uh, greater than the, the, the benefits that it gets from this vaccine. So I don't think that it is corrupted or something. Um, okay, you're done? Okay. okay. Uh, I don't know why you mentioned the herd immunity. I don't know if this is a point for us or against us. Uh, you just stated that not everyone needs to be vaccinated, so vaccination should not be compulsory. I said, I said that 80 to 90 percent should be vaccinated. Well, I think if the vaccines so are... That's a point of information, not a discussion. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, herd immunity uh, is achieved, uh, as, as I said, herd immunity is achieved when 80 to 90 percent of uh, population uh, are immune. Uh, and that uh, will not be achieved uh, if vaccination will not mandatory. As I said, also uh, a lot of people would forget or put it off if, it's, if, if it was not uh, mandatory. Yeah, 30 more seconds. 25 minutes, please. Okay. Do you have any? Okay, Mr. Yeah. Okay, so you stated that uh, vaccination should be compulsory in order for future generations not to suffer like we suffered. Uh, but it has been proven that some vaccinations are not 100% effective, such as mumps vaccine, for example, is only 88% effective. So why subject people to unknown risks and possibly have them suffer worse than what we suffered? As you said, 88% 88 88 of, uh, of the, is, is effective. So um, why should we risk with, uh, if, with, uh, if we don't take vaccines? As you said, if it's not effective and we don't uh, take the vaccine, uh, it will be 100%. Uh, 
uh, not perfect. <coughs> what? I'm sorry. He said that 88% of the vaccine is effective. So if only 22% is not effective, 12% uh, 12, 12, uh, 12 is not effective. So if we don't take the vaccine, it will be 100% not effective. And a lot of people will be uh, subjected to mocks. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't think you get my point. Okay, never mind. Thank you.